you work with all different types of population groups? I do, I do. Mm -hmm. um, ages 60, well, 55 through 100. We've had patients 100 years old, so yes, all, all those age groups. Are falls really um, oh, inevitable for aging? As we age, our fall risk increases. So, and that's because, you know, if you don't exercise regularly, you can get weaker, and that could be um, a risk for falling. So, and there's other conditions we can talk about that come as well, um, medical conditions um, that also increase your risk for falls as well. So why do people fall, Zenobia? Well, there are two factors. There's environmental and physical factors. Um, the environmental factors are, you know, due to, you know, environmental hazards. So if in the house you might have some cords, you might have um, obstacles in the way, there may be clutter, pets, throw rugs, just those type of things that might get in the way. And then the physical factors are your condition, your bodily conditions, which means that um, you can have uh, decreased strength, uh, your, your muscles are weaker, your bones are weaker due to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a condition that affects women more so than men. Um, it's really losing bone density. Your bones become more porous. How would I ever know that? Well, you'd have to go see your doctor and they test your bone density and your, your physician would give you those results. So if I get those results, is there something I can take or do to increase Absolutely. my bone density? You can take calcium. You make sure you have a good rich calcium diet and vitamin D. Vitamin D we can get from the sun, but you know, in Michigan we don't have very much of that in the winter time, so you do take uh, vitamins to supplement. But you do have to have a calcium rich diet and the vitamin D is what helps absorb the calcium in your body. What are some other personal factors that lead people to be more susceptible to falls? So vision is another thing. If your vision decreases and your eyesight is getting worse, which is very common with the elderly, you want to get your eyes checked. Um, if you wear glasses, wear them because that is what's going to help you see better and prevent your fall. I know a lot of people have bifocals. Can that cause people to slip and fall or misjudge a step? It could. Bifocals, you know, are meant for you to use for reading, so then they can alter your depth perception, and then you can take a wrong step, and that could cause you to fall. What would you recommend? How often should they get their vision checked? Well, that's my recommendation is annual, but you might want to check with your primary care physician as well. Every horrible story that you hear about falls involves a hip fracture. Correct. Why? Why is that more of a concern. As we mentioned before with osteoporosis, your bones become more brittle. So a fall could cause a hip fracture. Is the muscles in your hips or the, um, are those more susceptible to getting weaker? When you're older, with the elderly, if you're not, um, if you're not involved in an exercise program and keeping your muscles strong, those muscles aren't strong enough to take some of the force, so the force is taken by the bone. You're more likely to get a fracture with the fall. Well, I hear a lot of people talk about their fear of physical activity because, I mean, if I'm out there doing physical exercise, the, the fear of I'm going to have an increased chance of having a fall. Before you start any kind of activity program or exercise program, you, you need to consult with your physician because there's certain activities that would be really good for you and others that would probably be dangerous. Consult with your uh, physician who would probably refer you to a physical therapist and the physical therapist can give you a program that's appropriate for you and then progress you as you become stronger. Okay, but what if I don't want to talk with my doctor? If I see like at other community programs and activity okay. centers, there's exercise groups. Is it a smart thing for me to sign up for one of those activities without, say, the professional advice of somebody like yourself? You want to check with your physician before you start any kind of activity. They can see what your heart rate is, um, if your heart is able to endure, you know, a, a program that you're mentioning. For those that have chronic heart conditions and have any dizziness with activity, you need to consult with your physician because there might be something going on in your body that needs to be addressed first. Also, another thing is if you take medication, um, you need to check with your physician as well because those medications react differently to activity as well.